Hi guys, it's Jeff at Slayers Racing. This video is about the IRC M5B Evo. We get lots of questions about this tire and it's mainly because of its gnarly appearance. I mean, this is a gnarly looking tire. It has some of the deepest knobs, its hollowest knobs out there. And you know, it's just a brute looking tire. It's a three ply, so it's got a good strong carcass. You know, less prone to puncture. It comes in uh, four different 18-inch sizes, the 110, 120, 130, and 140, and then a 110, 19 for the motocross guys. Uh, IRC actually lists this as a motocross tire. Uh, the rubber compound on it is a little bit softer than a traditional motocross tire. Motocross tires are usually in the 75 to 80 durometer range. And this one's a little softer at about 68 to 70 durometer. And uh, so that kind of gives makes it a little more universal to, uh, for different applications. Now it says right on the side of this tire, uh, let's see. Yeah, right there, soft terrain. So, you know, that's what they've kind of designed this tire for. Sand, mud, deep loam, you know, really, uh, Tracks that they've worked well, and it's got a lot of nice deep loam on them. <clears throat> uh, and then in Colorado, here on the Front Range, which is, you know, in the area that our shop is in, there's a lot of this, what we call decomposed granite. It's really, uh, it's, it's, it looks like pea gravel, but it's granite that has broken down into little pieces over the years. And it, it gets, in some places it gets really deep. And this would be really good for that. Great for sand washes, all those kind of things. But this tire is actually fairly universal. I mean, it works in a lot of applications depending on how you have it set up. So, you know, if you're gonna run a tube with 12 pounds of air, then you're gonna really limit uh, the applications for this tire. That's gonna make it more of what it was really intended for, sand and mud, deep loam. But if you run it with a tubeless and run like four pounds in this thing, then it starts working really well in a lot of other applications, the rocks and the roots. <clears throat> this is still not a premium rock tire. I would, this is, I'm not, I have not used this tire. I'm not gonna test this tire. We've got some testers that are using it right now and actually really like it. But compared to, for, for rocky conditions, you know, there's better job specific tires, the IRC Gakota line, any of those, the VE33, IX09, JX8, all of those will totally outperform this tire in raw rocks and root situation. But, you know, if you're a guy that runs, rides a lot of flowy type trails, and then occasionally you go do something more extreme, this would be a good, good choice for that. Uh, it really works well in a lot of different types of trail situations. It's just not the best in, in the really hard pack, <clears throat> you know, blue groove type dirt or in, you know, just like uh, slick rock, the solid rock formations. Definitely not the best in those situations. Does okay, but not the best. If you want something better for that, then you need to go with the Gakota series of IRC tires. Uh, Rich over there at IRC has done a lot of testing on these tires and he, um, his statements agree with mine. But, you know, customers that come in the store, I swear 80 to 90% of the customers can't walk by the tires without squeezing them. Everybody has to grab a knob and twist it and squeeze it and almost like a tree hugger. You know, they got a, they're tire huggers. Uh, and I get it. I mean, this tire, it kind of just sucks you in. It's, it's just a brute looking tire. So as far as uh, the, all the different sizes they have, the 110-18 would be great for 125s, 150s, and 200s. The 120-18, which is that tire right there, you can see it's still plenty wide. This would be a good 250, 300 tire. And then, excuse me, this one. It's, I would consider this a little bit oversized for 250 or 300, but this is what some of our local guys are using and liking it. And then, uh, so that's the 130, and then the 140 over here, which is their biggest one. And this is just a brute. 
it's just, uh, you know, you're going to get something done when you got this baby on the back. So uh, this would be a good 450, 500, even the 600, 650 size bikes. It would work well on that. You know, like I mentioned before, it's got a, a good carcass. It's got this rim saver technology here. And I think it's just one of those tires that if you're interested in it at all, you should just give it a shot. And, you know, there's lots of guys who ride the easier stuff most of the time. You know, the flowy trails. I mean, I get it. They're fun. And then just occasionally somebody drags them off into some, some harder stuff. Or maybe they get into some muddy conditions, whatever. This is the tire for that application. I mean, uh, we got a lot of guys that, you know, they, they want to, they ride trails in the summer, or yeah, in the summer months, and then in the winter months, you know, when the trails are shut down with snow, then they want to ride the track. But this would be a great tire for that. I mean, it, like I said, it's a very universal application. It, it covers a wide variety, even though they call it soft terrain. Uh, it's not known for chunking. I'm not saying you'll never chunk one, but it's not really known for chunking. It is known for a reasonably long service life. And uh, I think that's about it, guys. IRC, M5B Evo. Tire's been around a long time. There's a lot of, a lot of people that absolutely love this tire. And if you're a hill climber, if you've got some big hills in your area and you just love to climb hills, this is the tire. This is called considered one of the hill climb kings. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just uh, tires, you just gotta try them. I mean, it's only money, you can make more of it. Hopefully your wife will give you a little once in a while, a little money I'm talking about. And uh, so guys, please like us on on uh, Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube. We work hard to, to try to give you guys good product information. We sure appreciate it if you just do that, the likes and the sub subscribing. That helps us out. And But what helps us out the most is for you to get out and shred some rubber. You know, it's always a good day when you're wearing out tires. So get out and do it. And also help out on your trails a little bit. Keep riding. That's all for now.